feelings of in, inadequacy and insecurity are normal. It makes you human, right? To, to anything we do that's unfamiliar to us, we, we automatically feel dysregulation, right? We automatically feel disorientation. This is unfamiliar to me. Remember the first, the first uh, month of podcast tapings, I was murdering this thing right i'm surprised i didn't like rip it out of its coating and like spray and and short circuit the headphones i was so i had so much nervous energy because i had never in my life been instructed by the lord to take the voice that i use to mentor people and to disciple people privately and use it publicly that scared me to death i told the lord i'm gonna get canceled you know i'm gonna get i'm, I'm gonna get you know how i talk I'm going to get canceled. You know, I'm not the eloquent. I'm not Craig Rochelle. I'm not Darius Daniels. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm slight. I'm kind of hood. I'm a little rough around the edges, sir. I'm not sure you want me out here in these streets talking, sir. I be popping off at the mouth. I don't know if you want me out here. He's like, yes, I want you out there. <laughs> so here I am. Uh, okay, I think Jesus wants me to talk about this. And I was murdering. Y'all go back and look at them first three, four podcasts. I'm killing this thing. I don't touch that thing now. I'm a little bit more comfortable. And I am. I'm dialing in. Like, I know how I'm, I, I'm finding my sweet spot. I don't think I have my sweet spot yet. But I'm finding my sweet spot. I think I'll be better at this a year from now than I am now. But but if you wait till you're good before you start, you ain't ever start nothing. Like you have to suck at something. <laughs> and you have to get over the fact that you suck. Or you'll never learn anything new. And so so I think part of this this happens with believers a lot, but but we we want to come out the gate good. Instead of coming out of the gate with God. We want to come out the gate with our good instead of coming out of the gate with our God. And we started this pod with our God, not with my good. We just stumbled into what he wanted us. He, he called us to do it. We said yes. We didn't know what the heck it was going to look like. We was like, all right then, homie, I guess we out here. We just started. And the more we've done it, the better we're getting. But again, back back to Zechariah. He loves to see the work begin. We, 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 oh man. Mm, dude, we could be on this for an hour. Cause I wanna, I wanna rip it out of your chest. I ooh. Ooh, I wanna rip it. I wanna rip that feeling out of your chest of of um paralyzed potential i want to rip it out of your chest man because i don't want people stuck on stupid because i might make a mistake you're going to make a mistake preach enough messages you're going to get a verse wrong <laughs> talk as my i much talk as much as i do on the mic you're gonna have to take a clip down what what the hell bro Get out here in these streets and get and get going. Get cracking on something. Do something. But don't just sit there. I'm still working on it. The Lord told me to start baking cakes. and I'm just trying to get my website to get. If you don't put that dog on cake out. Well, I don't have the right box that I want to put. If you don't start slinging these dog on cakes. Somebody wants a slice of cake, fam. Put the chocolate frosting on it and put it out there. I don't, I don't have, I don't have, uh, I'm trying to raise like, you know, at least like five grand. If you don't put out this cake, fam, if you don't put out that song, worship leader, if you don't preach that sermon, if you don't put out that composition, if you don't start that business, Nobody believes in it yet, and I'm still, well, if you're waiting on something, you ain't going to do nothing. I'm sorry. Get over yourself. You're either going to be obedient or you're not. Get out here. Fail at something. Try something and fail. 
Stumble into something good. Sometimes, sometimes it's the third thing you do that works. But if you didn't fail out the first two, you was never going to find out that third thing popped for you. So you just got to meander through this. I really invite you. I invite all of y'all right now. I'm going to pull it up on mine because y'all in the live. Where is it? Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Where is it? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Boom. Okay. I pulled it up. Great. Videos. Boom. I invite y'all right now or or whenever you get a chance to go to uh on YouTube Upset the News with Tim Ross. They're all 2 years old. I did this in 2000 uh, in 2000. I did this in 2020. There are 12 episodes of Upset the News. I did it as like a show where I talked about everything in culture. I edited every single one of them myself. I'm I'm so glad this is here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing it back to my memory. There is not one of these views, the, the, the highest viewed episode was the first episode, 4.7 4,700 views, okay? There's 12 episodes. I just did, I, 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 put the, I put a graphic on a TV behind me. I put the camera up myself. I was in, I don't know what editor I used, but I edited the whole thing myself. And I sat up in front of this camera and I recorded 12 episodes and then I got with my best friend and we did like a more professional upset the news sizzle reel and we put it out and shopped it to a bunch of networks. And you know what they all said? You don't have a big enough following. We looked at your, your, your social media. You have like 27,000 followers. You don't have enough following. You got a great personality, but you don't have a, you don't have an audience. So that sizzle reel sizzled out. Here we are two years later, about to step into 2023. Guess who got an audience? So we could put out that sizzle reel again just to see if it's going to be something. I don't know. God said content creation is my stump, not a branch. So we could put it out. But, yo, go look at these 12 videos that I produced myself that not one person looked Okay, the first one got 4,700. The second one, 2.6. The third one, 1 1.8. <laughs> it's going down. Oh, the fourth one, 2.4, 1 1.3, 1,000, 1,000, 446. 1K, 908, 796, 909, 1.4. 12 episodes. It was a lot of work, too. You remember, baby, when I was doing the Upset the, upset the News? Daddy was editing like 12 hours a day. The first, th this first episode took me 16. I had never edited anything in my life. Dude, it's trash. I put that graphic up. I'm in front of some Venetian blinds. The lighting's trash. See these clips? That's me. I did those clips. Children, 
Dude, this is the foundation of the basement. This is you developing in the dark, bro. Bro, I'm glad it's there. Yeah. I edited all that stuff myself. I didn't have no team. My eyes are burning. I'm not crying. Y'all know when I'm crying, and this ain't it. I didn't have a production team. I didn't wait on a production team. I didn't look for y'all. I wasn't like, well, I don't have a production team. I don't know how to do it. I started editing myself, man. I didn't know that when I did this, it was going to turn into this. So before y'all think I'm up here just talking theoretically, go look up Upset the News on YouTube. Yep. Yep. Daddy was up in a room trying to figure out how to edit and then putting the content together and didn't even know if it was going to match, if it was going to sync up. Bro, this is, don't despise a day of small beginnings. Put something out. And if it fails, it's okay. Learn from it and then move on to the next thing. Man, I'm passionate about this right here, man. I'm telling you, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to fail. Most people are afraid to fail because here's the thing. They think if they fail, God failed. They don't know how to self-differentiate them putting out something and they, 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 they attach God to everything so they think when they fail, God failed. Well, you don't want to call me out here to do it. Yo, try something. Do something. See if it works. God, uh, uh, Jesus sent out his disciples two by two. When he went, out, went up on the Mount of Transfiguration, let me just show it to you, man. Y'all got... See, don't play with me, y'all. Like I ain't had this book in my head for. I'm at home with my wife. I need my ring on. I'm married without a ring. Some jokers out there don't, don't think they're married when they take their ring off. Go on business trips, put their ring in their pocket, and now they're single until they get back home. Because that business trip is also a pleasure trip. Don't play with me. Ask me no stupid question like that. Where's my ring? I don't need that ring. I'm married. That that ring get lost in the Atlantic Ocean. I'm still married. If you think my fidelity is bound to a ring, you got me severely twisted. All right, so. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so. Um, uh, Matthew 17 is the Mount of Transfiguration, right? Jesus goes up with Peter, James, and John. He's transfigured. It's dope. Then he comes down. All right. At the foot of the mountain, a large crowd was waiting for them. A man came and knelt before Jesus and said, Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. Get this, verse number 16. So I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't heal him. <laughs> Can you imagine being nine disciples, right? Because three of them are up there with Jesus. So there's nine disciples down there. Jesus has empowered them to go out two by two. Nine of them could not heal this boy. Epic fail for them. Did they quit being disciples? You got to be willing to fail. Peter, in Matthew chapter number 16, gets a revelation of who Jesus is. And a couple of seconds later, a couple of minutes later, God says, uh, get thee behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me. Looking directly in Peter's face. You ain't going to get everything right, man. You got to get out here and fail at something. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad that's up there. I'm so glad. I Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing that back to my memory. I haven't looked at that upset the news thing. All of those, I, I did that. I did 12 episodes, and the reason why I stopped after 12, it was too taxing. I'm like, man, I am burnt out. I cannot produce the show, write the material, da, 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 and I'm not telling you it was good. I'm telling you I went out there and tried something. And here we are two years later. And Google is cutting us checks. The fruit of the seed, bro. You got to have a seed, put something in the ground. But I'm telling you, 
there's too much paralyzed potential on the inside of believers. You have to let that out. Risk it all. And if it don't work, at least you know. I pursued rapping to the end. Lecrae is my blood cousin. Okay, I can't wait till I, I, I'm chilling with him on the pod. But Lecrae is my blood cousin. Um, I put out an album. I put out a whole album. It was called If the Lord Says the Same. And it was dope. Like, it had some bangers on there. And, um, I mean, it got bangers on there. Hold on. See, y'all? Let me see where the files are. Yeah, Lecrae's album is dope. The whole thing. I agree with you, Noah. They need to listen to the whole thing. Downloads. All right, these are all tracks. Let me see. Oh, not that one. Yeah, you know what, the Valley of the Shadow of Cali. Fear no evil. Thou art with me. Yeah. Come on. I walked through the valley in the hood of Cali Inglewood, Centinella, where my mama had me The OG, Peanut, pushing baby brother stroller Cadillac, remember that? He told me when I was older Half the fam on pop side was dark blue soldiers Rep the set for a sec to get some respect Realize if I rep the set for respect I would lose my identity for infinity Streets was calling everybody by name Felt, felt the pain, it was hard to resist the call of that death wish Gang life started eating up cats for breakfast Then jumped to the next of kin, the next kid Gang bang, the life you choose to maintain Which leads to some guns, weed, and cocaine If it wasn't for the grace of God, the same thing I would've flipped in verse and stood on the curb Yeah, you know I walk through the valley of death is Breathing down my neck, my brother gotta keep stepping Pick up a weapon or a dodge and weapons Choose where you walk in this valley you step in Yeah, you know I walk through the valley of death is Breathing down my neck, my brother gotta Step in, pick up a weapon or a dodge them weapons. Choose where you walk in this valley. Step in. What makes a thug do it makes another punk out. Okay. So, chat loves that. Okay, cool. Banging song. I'm not on Reach Records. <laughs> right? I put it out. I tried something. I put out a whole album. We shopped the album. We got it all the way to Diddy. I know he don't remember it, but my manager got it all the way to Diddy. You know what he said? There is no, this is a quote. If I'm lying, I'm dying. There is no room for a good boy on bad boy. That's what he told my manager. There is no room for a good boy on bad boy. Duly noted, Mr. Combs. But I... Ch I have talents on the inside of me. I didn't know which one was supposed to be it. So try them all. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't know it was going to be preaching. So I was with that pen, bro. I'm writing. Then I did stand-up comedy. I did stand-up comedy for two years. I mean, did it. I'm not talking about like dabbled. I did stand-up, fam. I went and got trained to do stand-up. And I did it well. I didn't turn into Kev on stage. That, that wasn't my lot. But I tried it. So, dude, I failed at a, I'm, I'm literally walking y'all through failures right now. <laughs> Who does this? I, I'm showing you proof of concept that I did something two years ago that I just took a shot at and see what I could do. I just played you a song that the world is never going to hear. I'm not going to go I'm not going to go platinum. I'm not going to be on a feature with Nas and Jay-Z. Right? But I like rapping. That's why we did the song. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the basement. Right? It's safer down here cuz that hundred floor will leave you on the pavement and most of y'all like wait a minute. The stuff that I be thinking is the stuff that Timmy out here truly saying. Right? Dude, like 
Yeah, all that's in me. But what does God want me to do? I won't know unless I fail that. If I wouldn't have known to be a preacher for 26 years if I had not failed at rap and failed. If you want to call it a failure, I mean, thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh, I've never said this in my life. What most people call failures, I call findings. Ooh, I'm putting y'all up on game. That good old Holy Ghost with me tonight. Right? What y'all call failures, I call findings. I failed at this. You know how I, know how I interpret that? I just found out what I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> I had another failure. I had another finding. That wasn't it. <laughs> Let me try something else. Oh, that wasn't it. Let me try something else. Oh, I found out that wasn't it. And guess what? Booyah, I found out that was. So we got to, we got to, we got to change the way we think about failures. Fail forward. Learn from this. Learn something from it. Find out something from it and then do something else. But don't just give up. Some of the greatest Aha moments are accidents. I was never going to find out about podcasting until I did um, higher, lower. Low places, higher purpose. <laughs> I always get it wrong. Low places, higher purpose. If I didn't do low places, higher purpose, shout out to J.B. Copeland and A.P. I don't know his last name. Let's just do initials. Shout out to JB and AP. If they don't invite me to be a guest on lower, what? Low places, higher purpose. <laughs> yeah. if, they don't, if they don't invite me to be on low places, higher purpose, I'm not sitting in this chair right now. Because until I did that pod, I had done other people's pods, but until I did that one and walked away, that's when the Lord said, this is what I want you to do. And guess what? I had the same energy approaching this as I did rapping, as I did uh, what I did two years ago by myself, as I did when I was doing stand-up. And guess what? God, God proved, oh, this it right here. You supposed to sit in this chair and talk, fam. You sit in this chair and talk. Miss Tina about to repost that. You sit here in this chair and talk. Holly Robinson Pete about to repost that. You sit here in this chair and talk. Joe Budden about to repeat that, bro. Ain't nobody ever done that with none of my sermons. And I gave the energy to the sermons too. Don't get me twisted. Whatever I do, I go in. Now y'all getting it, y'all, listen, y'all tapping into a side of me that is going to be, it's going to be very uncomfortable for some of y'all because it's going to come across to you as arrogance. I'm not arrogant. I am confident. I am completely and supremely confident in my God and my skill set. I know I'm dope at something. Whoa! Ooh, I'm trying to help somebody tonight. I feel it. I feel this strong. I'm trying to help somebody. I know I'm dope at something. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to figure it out. I've, I've been like that since I was a kid. I was going to be dope at something. I wanted to be a cop. That's what I went to school for. I memorized two-thirds of the uh, California Penal Code when I was 16 years old. I was going to be a cop. I could literally call out. You could call out a code. Tell me what. Code, blah, 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 blah. I'd be like, that is blah, 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 blah. Call out code, da, 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 da. Oh, that's blah, 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 blah. I, learned, I memorized two-thirds of the California Penal Code. I was going to be dope at something with a high school diploma, fam. I don't have a college degree. And I ran a $7 million, $6 million organization with, a, with, with, with no college degree. I was going to be dope at something. I was a C student. I was going to be dope at something. And a lot of people think that if you're going to be do anything for Jesus, you got to you got to have humility at the expense of confidence. But you can be confidently humble. Right? You shouldn't be walking around thinking, "Woe is me, I suck at everything." I'm terrible. <laughs> oh my god, it's nothing. It's none of it's all God. It's none of me. Stop. If it's all God, he don't need you. 
And if it's all you, it ain't God. This is a collaboration. He's looking for people to partner with. He's not looking for people to puppet with. He's looking for people to partner with. You feeling this, huh? I'm looking at my son, my 12-year-old. You feeling this, huh? Yeah, yeah. And this is, this is, this is, this is, what, this is what I instill in my kids. Be good at something. You ain't got to be great at everything. I'll take a strong C from that dude. A strong C if he tried his best. Now, if it's a raggedy C, you didn't do your homework, and you skipped the quizzes and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be looking at you crazy. But if, it's, if you tried your best and it's just a C, we're going we to ride with that. Because he gets A's and other stuff. You ain't going to be dope at everything. Straight A students are overrated. <laughs> I didn't know we were going in this direction tonight. <laughs> straight A students are overrated. All that means is you know how to do tests well. I know a lot of straight A students make the dumbest decisions you've ever thought about in your whole life, right? So straight A students are overrated. Like, like, fail something. Figure yourself out. But if you don't have the, if you don't have it in you to explore, if you don't have it in you to tinker, if you don't have it in you to risk it all and try something new. Yeah, I'm I'm telling you, I'm 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 betting on God in me next year with this podcast. Point blank period. I want a Netflix special. Why not? If he gonna give them out, I'm gonna take one. If we get a network show out of this, I'm taking it. I'm not giving up the podcast though. It's gonna be this and the network show. <laughs> Cause this is the stump. But if one of them branches. If somebody wants to give me half a million dollars a year to, to spin off and do a show, man, this podcast and that show about to be popping. We're going to take this money and we're going to bless the king. We're going to bless the kingdom. We're going to bless a whole bunch of people. I'm going to embarrass Ellen blessing people. Right? Please. Come on now. So I need to get off that now. Y'all running me hot and I got the AC on and I'm still getting hot in this hoodie talking about this, bro. I get passionate about this, man, because I've I've never been. Dang, it's eleven fourteen. I've never been the time. Last time I looked at the clock, it was ten oh eight. I don't know where that. I have no idea, Noah, where the time went. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's unbelievable. So Are we all blacked out. <laughs> yeah, we just. Man, I blacked out for an hour. It's crazy. Um, I I I I just I am um. I know I know how to help people find what they want to do and like dial in on it because that's what I've done you know what I'm saying but I'm telling you I've tried stuff and found out that's not what I was supposed to do you can you you call it failure if you want to go back and look at upset the news you might be like oh, yeah, that, this is whack he, he definitely wasn't supposed to do that no no I just found out that wasn't what I was supposed to do now I'm 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 on a hunch that what we found, what the final concept of upset the news. Um, what I found out was they did like me. The producers liked me. I just didn't have an audience. Yeah. Yeah. That's what talking about. So what if by 2025, what seemed like a failure was just out of season? No, what you just said, like when you said go back and look at it and and see it as a failure, I literally like felt, but you can't look at the basement and not see that. Correct. You can't look at that and not see the basement in correct. that, dude. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. And so, again, if I would have waited until I found producers and I'm waiting for the right time, I need somebody to do a dope logo, go back and look. I upset the news i asked somebody i don't even know who it was i asked somebody to do to 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 make that graphic that graphic oh 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 and then i had a homie i cannot forget about this dude um because one of the um i gotta brag on him for a minute this dude from um we wound up having a, mo a motion cap intro by episode four or five but this dude actually put together a motion cap intro for me. 
Okay. Welcome to Upset the News with your host. Is this the... Okay, okay, so look at this Upset the News. I, I don't know if you can even see it, but but at least you can hear it. But But this intro... Welcome to Upset the News with your host, Tim Ross. That's fire, dude. Wow. What a different seven days makes. Okay, now peep game. So, so you see, you see like the upset the news behind there, but that boom, 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 I beatbox that. I like made myself an intro, fam. Boom, 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 boom. Obviously, I didn't beatbox that beat that came up, but I beatbox over. I didn't have a beat at all. That's right. That's right. So now, hold on, because that was episode five. I'm trying to find where the homie hit me up with the um. Okay, now, now look at this one. My, um, a guy from Africa saw, saw the upset the news and he was like, bro, I can, I'm a motion graphics artist. I can do a, a better intro for you. Like, so look at this one. Welcome to Upset the News with your host, Tim Ross. <laughs> Bro, you ain't gonna tell me that God doesn't like to see a work begin. Just do it. Just do it. You don't you scared? Do it. You don't have enough money? Do it. Do you know how much <laughs> I gotta give y'all receipts because we out here. Do you know how much? Now, I'm saying this, this I'm not being irresponsible. I can pay all this stuff I'm talking about. But I'm just telling you how I'm stretching my money. We got guests that are coming up on a couple of shows. Um, I wanted to, again, I want to make sure everybody that comes here comes first class. Where's that money coming from right now? Credit cards? I can pay it back. I just, I just don't have it on me right now. Swipe the card. Da -da -da -da, pay the minimum. Get to the next month. I got some money coming in. I'll pay that back. Boom. Da -da -da -da. Oh. There, there's another person that we want to interview um, that I think is going to be beneficial to our dwellers. Um, but the only way we can meet with that person is if we go to Vegas. So just like we did at the Beverly Hilton, now I'm swiping a card for me and my producers to go to Vegas for three days so we can shoot content with uh, a guest that I really think has something unique uh, to bring to our audience. Then I'm jumping back and we're bringing in somebody else in January and I'm going to have to pay for that. And by that time, I think I'm going to have some money that comes. We making it what I'm away for. Well, when I get a bigger budget, then I'll start getting more guests on that. I No, we going now. You feel me? We're not waiting on nobody. We going right now. God said now it's now. So he's going to have to provide. But if I wait, mm -mm. no, we out here. We out here. We out here. We out here. You got to believe in something, man. There's a dude out in, uh, in, in, in um, is he in Vegas? I think he's out in Las Vegas. But the dude is like from the East Coast, like maybe New Jersey or New York City or whatever. One of the boroughs. And he moved out to like Vegas and started um, a, a, a shoe reselling. Like he started selling shoes. The dude was sleeping in a park for like a year. This dude was homeless, sleeping in a park, trying to flip shoes. And now he has one of the biggest shoe companies in Vegas slinging shoes. 
He had to sleep in the park, fam. Well, if I get the, if I get enough people to like invest in me and believe in me, if you don't believe in you, what are we doing here? You get a word from the Lord and you go. Okay, I'm gonna go to something else in the chat. Because if we stay here, this is going to be the whole. I don't know, dude. I feel this thing, though. I do, too. <laughs> I feel it. Because, I'm trying to help some people, man. Yeah. Like, I think I think there's an issue that that's really needing to be dealt with here, though. Like, there's too many people who are afraid to try something and afraid of failure. But you can't innovate without failure. No, you cannot. There is no innovation without no, failure. No. These lights ain't on without Thomas Edison failing. And so I, I don't know, like if you still wanted to stay here, I'd be happy to stay here. Bro, but if you want to qu keep going, I got a question. Man, I'm, I'm, I think I saw, listen, I already gave y'all proof of concept. I, sh I let y'all hear songs. I let, <laughs> I let y'all see whack video intros with me beatboxing on them. I don't wait, man. I feel like God's telling me to do something. I go do it. I could be wrong, but I'm about to find out. I hear the wait is too much to wait. Mm. Okay, Sammy. <laughs> Proceed on, fam. You just you want to talk. You, you know, there's you, there's there's a heaviness. There's a heftiness in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. God's doing something here. Yeah, it's the uh, same thing with an analogy about the cake, dude. People are hungry. Get that yeah, cake out. Get that cake out, fam. I didn't know. Th I didn't know over a hundred thousand people wanted to be in the basement. Yeah. But did we shoot our shot though? Did we not shoot? Our shot. Can't say we didn't. Then for, I think what the th the first three or four episodes was solo episodes, yeah. or the first at least the first three. First three for sure. Right. We talking about we want guests on. We who has the audacity to put out a Google form and be like, hey, anybody want to come sit with us? Who, who? First of all, who are you? We don't even know you, right? And guess what? Over fifteen hundred submissions later. People want to come down to the basement. People are like, I'm ready to have that level of vulnerability. I can't tell you how many DMs I get from men and women, grown men and women saying, bro, I need you to mentor me. I need you to pray for me. I didn't, how was we going to know this unless we just came out here and did it, man? So I'm, I'm telling people, like, I wish I could bring it to you with the same energy Gary V does. <laughs> but the Lord has not given me permission. 